Hello everybody, welcome to the Blood Bowl 3 Chalice Season 4 quarterfinal. So the winner of this does get a ticket to the World Cup. Hello Moomin Slayer, yes correct. And uh, we have Sergal, the uh, best not to introduce him. And um, up against Bright, a uh, very good Russian player. Uh, with the Teramok Enjoyers, which is uh, I think is a great name. Uh, he has a very injured team here, but also a very good one, I think. The move up, it's as nice, isn't it? Lord of Guard, Mighty Blow. This this guy's absolutely crippled, but he's still a sneaky, get dirty player. So uh, I think the Orcs are probably big favourites in this. And uh, some nice AV ups, love to see it. Uh, Bright won the toss and chose to receive. And also, oh, okay, I was going to say, also he's got a bribe, but it's because the, the kickoff result was a bribe. Obviously raining here, you can see it's raining. Not so clear, I guess, on the, uh, on the dwarf pitch. Couple of removals. Goes for the central guarder. Obviously, this guy might uh, stand firm if you don't want to blitz him. If you can help it. Or he should have done that move first. <laughs> Mr. Throw's acceptable, isn't he, with plus AV and plus movement? Like he's not terrible. He's he's actually not. He's not a terrible Mr. Throw here. And then I guess by having the movement eight one as well, you've got like a handoff and also like a two turn option. So um, yes, I wish I could as well. Yeah, yeah. Especially Chunter. Chunter always picks the horrendous looking picture pitches. Super annoying. Most annoying man in Blood Bowl is Chunter for him picking terrible stadiums. <laughs> He's probably gonna blitz this guy and get the follow up block. Alright, okay, doing it the other way. Oh, the Dublé Skulls. Oh my god, Quad Skulls. Holy moly. Is this, is this Juggernaut? Grab. It's interesting that he went with this Blitz because... I guess it's into a 3D, right? Whereas I, I think I would have rather Blitz that way. Um, so that then I could have hit him and like, you know, blocked him... But if I've got a push here, I would be able to defend the guy who blitzed. Whereas if he gets a push here, and I, sorry, both down. If I get a both down, I can defend the player. Whereas if he gets a both down there, he's getting screwed, isn't he? Um, but his way, I guess, it goes into a 3D, which is better than going in a 2D. So six and two threes. But you know, there's a good chance of one in nine, right, and not getting the push. So I think it might have been better to have blitzed the other way. Oh my god, another double skull. Wow. Six skulls in a row. You don't see that every day. Just gonna beat this guy off. Got no real choice but to leave this guy lying down. Absolutely not worth standing up to get smashed by Mighty Bull. Funny enough, he might have done if a uh, guard hadn't been nerfed, right? If he's still got another assist, he might have stood in there. But yeah, obviously this one's different because you can dodge away, but there's no way you can stand up like that. Again, we're just going to try and maximise blocks here. Probably put it to this one, block this one. Nope. Okay, we're not maximising blocks. We're just seeking contact. <coughs> oh, rescuing him from the gang foul. Okay. Okay, so the play was to rescue him from the gang foul. And then pile in, use your strength and guard, hope for the best. Big, big turn this, isn't it? If he if he gets away with this turn, right, he's looking amazing. If uh, if Sergo can get a bunch of, you know, like he's going to have to one and stuff, but if he can get it working, it could be real bad for him. Instant block instead of standing up safe, safe moves first. I would have definitely stood this guy up first this time. Mm. 
It was fair enough not starting you know, immediately because, of course, you know, if this is a knockdown, you know, things could have happened, whatever. Well, so far, so good for Bright. Two pushes. Doesn't stand him up at all. No, I think. I think it was probably worth standing up this turn. The fact you're already like locked in here anyway. Right? That's the thing. Like it's tough for the dwarves because they, you know, the the orcs are just going to pound you because they've got more. They've just got more strength than you. Nothing you can really do about that. And here we go. Two stuns. Paid off massively for Bright. Just to foul this guy, much better foul target than the other one. I, I wouldn't have fouled him in the previous turn, but understandable, you know, if the sneaky get dirty play, you kind of want to foul up every turn. Regardless of uh, player value. There we go, get the big removal. Glorious. Everybody celebrates. Doesn't get sent off. No apple. Amazing. Oh, well, he's got he's got uh, he's got two niggles, so he can't he can't really apple it, even if he wanted to. Now he stands the sky over. Now it's like a much worse stand up than previous turn. But now he's in the absolute desperation, which maybe he should have been kind of in that mode already. You can just knock everybody over here, but he could try and chain out the uh, big one here. It's a possibility. Block him and then chain him out. Might be something he wants to do to get him up. Downfield. Up downfield. But you know what I mean, like, up. Up as we're looking, and downfield is the uh, thing. So I, I think I would chain out the... Uh... Oh, he's stand firm. I would not chain him out. <laughs> he's stand firm, I would not chain him out. <laughs> oh, okay, so he's turning around. Okay. I definitely wouldn't try and change him. Grab? I think I'd have grabbed him over to there. Interesting. It's funny, isn't it? They say like downfield, but it was up. <laughs> Two stuns again, so you know, really getting pretty nice dice is bright. Like you certainly got the team. Like now, we can just smack everybody down. Right? Like just this is just could be a monster turn here. Done. I would have just, I would have just gone max blocks here. I would have, wouldn't have tried to like free that blitz. He was trying to free that blitz to get him downfield somehow. I think I would just be maximising my blow hits, and it hits in general, but especially my blow. Oh my god! Here we go. Really good banging turn. Sneaky get down. And out. Oh, God. Well, don't say it's over. But, um... With three cars, one upload, and a KO, this drive is... The drive is pretty much over, right? The drive is pretty much over. Uh, so now you just lie down a circle here. You just, just lie your place down. Don't, don't stand your video. Even though you're going to get Sneaky get DP'd. It's better to not stand up and get mighty blowed <laughs> before you get sneaky, get DP'd. <laughs> so, yeah. Lots of tactics.
He does want to get the. Uh, he does want to get this dynamic tap right, so he can push him first. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know if he can be changed. Should have made this a 3D. I mean, very strong argument for making this a 3D, right? This is a blood runner. Um, okay, you know, you've got all these guys locked down for coming for the bolt one, but there's also only one turn, so they just can't reach the ball. Uh, you can stop a blitz maybe by positioning all around here, and you can get like a big foul on this guy, which is pretty good. But um, there's a lot to be said for making that 3D, but I don't hate not making it a 3D. It wasn't an automatic 3D how how they should be some turns. Because this was this was a better player to foul, wasn't it? Stand firm can be super annoying, guard, all that. Whereas if you make this a 3D, you, that kinda makes you want to foul him too. Uh, this is turn eight, isn't it? So he definitely just wants to score. I know he's got the bribe, but I don't want to use the bribe on this, right? Because the bribe stops the turnover. But argue Oh no wait, bribe Wait, does Bribe stop the turnover? One of them doesn't stop the turnover, does it? Does it argue the call? Doesn't stop the turnover, but Bribe does. Is that how it works? But I just would not want to use the Bribe on this. Yeah, argue the call, doesn't it? I would not want to use the Bribe on that, right? I want to use the Bribe in the second half. And you would have to use the Bribe on it. <laughs> because, well, first of all, you couldn't rely on a 6 plus argue the call anyway. But like, I mean, like you'd have to use the bribe there, wouldn't he? And that just seems, that just seems, shit, to use the bribe then. And I get that it's, uh, it's you know, more removals or whatever. But I don't like it. So here we go. We've got the uh, the anti frenzy setup, the classic that you can see on my YouTube. Good advice, approved by Artemis. <laughs> Artemis, of course, makes that setup a little bit worse and changes it name, so he acts like he's invented it, but he hasn't. goodness. You really want to app all this because you've won the game at this point, right? And you just want to make sure you're in the next one. So yeah, he does app all it. It does fail. So yeah, I think this is a very, very confident move from Bright. If this was the final, he wouldn't have appled that right away for, for this KO. And that KO affects the driver like, you know, this can win in the match, right? If he, uh, if he keeps this guy on the pitch with an apple, then all of a sudden... His match equity is much higher. Oh, wait a minute. It, that was the one turn. Errata, errata, disregard. Oh, it has stayed out, so there you go. So, no. It's fine, don't worry. It's hard because you can't see the turns. In my defense, you can't see what turn it is. <laughs> Which makes it a little bit harder to understand what the hell is happening. Oh my god, another blitz. You know, is it important to know what turn it is in a turn-based game? Some might say yes. <laughs> Some might say not high priority. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows what the answer is? The dwarves are still on 11. They have 13 players. So they're actually men up now. This is not going to be easy at all now for Bright, so he's gone from supremely confident appoing a kind of irrelevant miss next. Not, I mean, not irrelevant. Irrelevant to this game, right? I mean, it's not. It's not a good apple for match equity. It's a better match. It's a better. It's a better apple for tournament equity than match equity. And the thing is, this is the tournament, right? Because at the end of the day, if you get to the semi, you qualify for the World Cup. So the quarterfinals are more important games than the semi-finals or the final, by far. Imagine if he'd kept his apple, right? He could have appled that guy, and he would have had another another guard player on the pitch right now for this for this drive. So, that was a little bit, you know, maybe too confident. Um, 
maybe attaching too much importance to the tournament equity when you should have been thinking this is the final. The only thing that matters is getting to the top four and getting the World Cup ticket. Oh my god, another double skulls. Oh, maybe he doesn't care about getting the World Cup. Hello, Benny Barthez. Maybe he just wants to win Chalice, right? Lots of people just like to win Chalice. Um, when it was for the money, everybody cared about the money. And then when it stopped being about money, people still wanted to win Chalice, didn't they? Just for the hell of it. So... I want to, I want to win every any tournament I enter, including the World Cup qualifier, the NAF one that I entered. So you know, like it doesn't matter at all, right? But I still just want to win it. So maybe he wants to win it more than he cares about the World Cup ticket. But uh, he might have already won one as well, right? Like I don't know. You know, he might have won like the Rubble qualifier, whatever. No idea. <laughs> No idea on Bright's World Cup status. Sure, Benny Bartas. Oh my god, another Kaz. Oh, this is turning around. This is uh, unfortunate for everybody here. Um, yeah, this is... <laughs> Bright has abandoned defense to fight and is getting banged out, which isn't great, is it? When you abandon defense to fight and then get banged out, yikes. Depends what the league is, how long it goes on for, Benny Bartes. If there's redraft, it's hard to answer. In a vacuum. Um, oh my god. In general, like, if you're going to play the team for a long time, block is just better, right? Because you get more SPPs and uh, there'll be more chance of you getting to three skills and your players will be more survive with block. Um, you know, it's like one decent stuff rather than with guard. SPP retention. So I'd go guard, like, you know, NAF style, right? Like, NAF style, I'm going guard for, like, well, just only taking guard. But seeing as you're going to get more skills. Um, for that, so, yeah. or maybe Mighty Blow. Right? You can also start Mighty Blow to uh, depend on how much you care at all about winning the first. Depend again, depend on how long the league is. If there's redraft, um, you can go Mighty Blow first. Just, just bang for a few seasons. Yeah, one season. Guard's got a lot more value than yeah. Interesting, interesting choice. You could do a mix. You could do all guard. I'd probably go all guard. <laughs> if I like, you know, like when I when I'm doing naff, right? When I'm doing naff, I go all guard. At the end of the day, my my naff orc team is seven guard. So so if 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 I was if my life was on the line and I had to win every game, I would take seven guard. Simple as that. Oh well, the goblin was exposed there for that foul. Not dead. If he gets his KOs back, he's looking all right, actually, Bright, isn't he? Like, it's not not great to have got these two guys cast. But if he gets his KOs, he's got two chances for, for overtime. He's almost certainly going. And then maybe not almost certainly going overtime. But he's lost, he's lost his fast blitzer, so it's going to be... A bit tricky to turn 12. I mean, he, c he could conceivably put pressure on here. But he's lost his throw, which makes the two turn harder. Uh, eight guard, <laughs> Benny Bartes. <laughs> Fuck tackle. <laughs> oh, you could go seven guard, one mighty blow, right? You could go seven guard, one mighty blow. And you could go seven guard, one mighty blow. Fuck tackle. Don't need it. Just put your players in the right squares. No one plays agility anyway. No one plays agility anyway. If they do play agility, first of all, them failing a 2 plus isn't that much hard. Like, you know, the chance of them failing a 2 plus isn't that much anyway, right? So, like, it's, it's unlikely to have an effect on them dodging. And when you're hitting them, okay, it doubles your chances from 
from 55 to 30, like from 30 to 55. But that's only if you can make the hit with the tackler on that, and it only it only actually affects it one in four times, right? Because 30% of the time you'll get the knockdown, 45% of the time you'll get nothing. So only one in four blocks will the tackle even make a difference on a block. It's a terrible skill. It's funny. It's funny because it's kind of like it's a necessity, right? Especially at high TV. But it's it's a bad skill. Tackle is a bad skill. There you go. Different with dwarves, obviously, having mass tackle, because that does make the dodges uncomfortable, right? Like when once you get like critical massive tackle, then then once every dodge is off tackle, then it starts adding up for the elf teams. But um, and obviously because they're so slow, then it's, uh, they they need the you know they they need the tackle more than anybody else. But in general, tackle just not a good skill. But yeah, because dodge is so ridiculously good, <laughs> and on tabletop Amazons exist, those two things like drive up the necessity of tackle, even though it's really not that good. I guess it makes a big difference when like you can re-roll the 2D, right? If you re-roll the 2D for a critical thing. And a lot of the time, you'd rather three dice with mighty blow than two dice with tackle, because you're hitting a player that you really care about, like like a gutter runner or whatever, or a dancer. So in those cases, you know, you're getting a lot of value by removing it from the pitch, and that will make up for the slightly reduced chance of knocking it over by how impactful the knockdown is. Yeah, I mean, snots and gobbles, you win anyway, so. Take the loss versus the Delves. <laughs> like, you know, maybe do alright. Like, you know, the mass guard helps against Delves anyway, right? The muscle through them. I'm definitely not playing in the UK TC, and I don't think I'm going to visit. I might visit the UK TC next year. I might even play in it next year. I'm not completely averse to playing tabletop. South America, Spain, <laughs> Fimea. <laughs> that was amazing. That was there. Uh, was really enjoyable. I like that you liked it. Yeah. It was <laughs> that was a lot of that was a lot of it was a lot of fun actually the UK TC last year. The problem is I haven't got any accommodation like I didn't have any accommodation or anything last year, but I got offered like, you know, a couch. So that made it a lot better. Whereas now it seems a bit more well, the same amount of last minute but without the without the offer of the couch. Um so maybe next year I'd like go and, and get a proper place. Like now it's so late, you know, Elliot was saying like it's super expensive and you know, don't want to spend your fortune to just go and be an idiot. So only one KO back really needs he got his movement guy back. Oh, he could one turn. No, he couldn't. Uh. Foul is still not getting sent off. The ridiculousness of a uh, sneaky get dirty player. Right? So it's eight versus nine at the moment, but he does have two. Right, he's got one back. It's nine v nine, I think. Who's going to win the toss? Oh shit, the dwarves win the toss. So, three, six, nine players. Three, six, nine, yep, nine v nine. Well, this is better for the game, I guess, that the dwarves win the toss, because I feel like if the orcs had won the toss, it would be a very easy drive for them. But, um, 
Because, yeah, that would be, that would be a good thing. <laughs> and this was a great, great solid defence to shut down the dwarves here with loads. Of, they're heavily outguarded now, aren't they? How many guard do they have? One, two, two guards versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, this is, uh, even after winning the toss, this is terrible for the dwarves. And it's, I would assume Bright will try and stop him scoring this time. <laughs> Oh, War Thunder. Maybe you should have tried to stop him scoring in the, in the second half, right? Just to um, just to minimise the hits he take. He took total, right? Like, it's not always good to like take the hits to try and stop someone scoring. But at the end of the day, if you play, you know, this extra half, you could get some. Yeah, any hit can just get somebody killed. But I guess it's going to be harder for uh, for Sergal to get hits now with so few players. I mean, the Russian people are fine, aren't they? There's nothing. Uh, there's nothing wrong with wanting a Russian to win. Lots of the, uh, lots of the Russian blood bowl coaches were like doing loads of protests and everything. Like, it's, it's kind of stupid to, um, to associate <laughs> people with their governments, isn't it? Though obviously, in some cases, that they're aligned. But generally, generally it's governments versus peoples, <laughs> rather than rather than the other way around. It's just nail, nail the sneaky gate. He's still protecting his team. And like, you know, obviously you need to protect your team to win the game anyway, so it's not like, it's not a total like, you know, selling your chances to win to just to take damage. Just to not take damage, right? Like, not taking damage helps you win this game as well. A lot of people talk about, you know, math style and like, Sacrificing all your players to win. Oh, this is a huge one. I mean, maybe you could have even re-rolled that because this is the only chance that Circle has. <laughs> that was a possible re-roll, honestly. Now, I wonder if this guy could have fitted up here, could have reached up here because this is like this three plus away. I mean, he's, he's definitely going. He's not going for it. Okay, well, I'd have definitely gone for, um, for getting the ball to him and fucking off. Okay, and said he's just chosen to lose. <laughs> Not what I would have done, who can say if it's good or bad. Oh, I was unlucky, otherwise this guy could have broke, broke tackle through. Gotta be worried about this guy. Very worried about this guy. Well, he can do it this turn then. He's got. He's got to go for it. But now there's like another player back. He's not going for it. Maybe uh, Bright shouldn't have committed his tackle over. Right? Maybe maybe Bright should have kept his tackle over. But the thing is, he wants he wants to get the turnover and score. So. It's, uh, you know, stopping the score. He won 50-50 to win, so he does want to uh, use his advantage to get the turn on. It's not easy, is it? He can bracket the, the run now, though, I guess. I'd have gone in here. Yeah. Sneaky. 
sneaky git. That's a really good squirrel. Yeah. Oh, his movement down. That's why. That's why he saved it. That's why he wanted to get something from these. Of course, it, his movement five has got a movement down. I was surprised it didn't move him down instantly. So he's just going to dodge. The ball. Oh, he's just going to block. Wow. So I guess Sergal's plan was to just like. Just try and keep the ball and get to overturn. I like, sorry, you know, get to kicks. Not actually try and score. Which is I mean it's paying off at the moment. There's only like four turns left for the orcs, but it seems fraught with risk. Gets the power. Oh god, the movement four's got it. The blockless movement four. Nice grab. Use. Almost certainly a random. So you do get to use these like random skills that you whiff on, right? Probably, you probably, uh, like, randomed grab and then... Well, so he could have just randomed it, like, he could have already had block guard mighty and then random grab. Um, for this match or whatever, or, you know, for the playoffs. Or he could have just randomed, got grab, then randomed again and got guard, or, you know, stuff like that you can do, can't you? Yeah, so, so really Circle's plan was to just try and make it to kick. Which is pretty reasonable. Pretty reasonable. This guy ain't doing anything, is he? Yeah, because the lack of guard, he just couldn't fight him. Oh my god, he does, he does the dodge. He runs his four squares away. He does a GFI. He does another one. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. The absolutely crippled sneaky get dirty player. That's incredible. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> absolutely fucking wounded. <laughs> oh no. Diced. Absolutely diced. Oh, dead! Oh, no! Well, there's Bright's tournament equity taking a hit if he can win this match. Hello, Pedro. Got a scoring threat of his own now, Circle. Flip me. This is looking more and more like it's going to kicks, isn't it? To be fair, Bright, although Bright had like millions of guard versus Circles 2, it just didn't, on playing numbers it hasn't been easy, has it, for him? He's down to six players. So yeah, maybe, maybe Circle could have been a bit braver and maybe would have scored, but then, you know, if he had, maybe he'd have been scored on. So who knows? Still a chance for um, Bright here. Not much of a chance, admittedly. Follow? I think I would have followed there just for like maybe like scattering back and from some of my guys. Oh my god. Okay. So now maybe. Maybe he can do it. Five plus dodge. You gotta re-roll it because at the end of the day there's no there's no Kekwadi anymore. 
and it's over. <laughs> Answers in a postcard. Who won that thrilling match? <laughs> Best. Not the best way to end a match, is it? But there you go. Um, apparently Bright won. So there you go. Um, happy days. Congratulations, Bright. Gets his spot in the World Cup. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.